Hi, so I'm on my way to my wheelchair evaluation. nervous about this evaluation because I'm not sure my doctor put all the information he should have on the prescription for this evaluation. So when I go in there and I tell them that I have some form of hypermobility that's not diagnosed yet, I'm not sure what they're going to say and I'm not sure if they're going to actually get me the electric wheelchair that I need that Dr. Chilton put down on the uh, prescription. So I don't know what to expect. Um, I don't know what they're going to want me to do, if they're going to want me to show them me walking or anything like that. And of course today is raining, so my um, pain is a little bit more today, so I really don't want to have to walk for them. I don't know. We'll see what goes, what happens. But, yeah. Isn't that so cool? They have bikes so that people can use them for transportation. It's been um, several days since my wheelchair evaluation appointment. Um, sorry, it's just to say, yeah. Sorry, it's just like a weird transition from going to the doctor's appointment to here. Um, I ended up. Um, my camera ended up dying, so I couldn't record anymore when I got there. But um, the wheel, the wheelchair evaluation went. Not as expected. I wouldn't say it went bad, but um, it. We ended up like agreeing to get a mobility scooter, and um, reason I didn't like ask more questions about it, I guess, is because the um, what do you call her? The physical therapist and me were already butting heads. She was, in my opinion, um, rude and assumed way too many things. Um, and there was some big misunderstandings that I realized later on when I got home. Um, so because we did a mobility scooter and I wasn't even prepared for that to be an option, um, I didn't really know anything about them. So they had to show me a picture, like I had an idea of what they were, but I didn't really fully know what they were. And when I saw them, I'm like, okay, well, it's not ideal, but okay, it's better than nothing. Um, but then I got home, you know, and I researched about it and stuff, and there are so many cons to them. Um, and I'm 20 right now, so this is going to be something that I'm going to need for the rest of my life. Um, and I feel like it is going to help me, but it would also limit me. And then going from a mobility scooter to a electric wheelchair at that point through insurance would be almost impossible. So I still need to go look at the mobility scooter before I firmly make my decision, but I'm pretty positive that I'm going to end up having to wait until I get a more firm diagnosis. Like, I have POTS diagnosed, but I'm having some hypermobility issues and um, some strength issues and um, I have involuntary movements and um, my car cannot be, um, put a hitch on the back of it because it's too small. So we've got some issues to work around. And since we don't know what's fully causing all my issues yet, or not issues, but all of my symptoms, um, working with insurance is going to be hard. So we're probably going to end up having to wait. And which is discouraging, 
because I need independence now, but if I'm impatient, then I'm going to end up hurting myself even more in the future, I think. So, um, it's a big waiting game, as it always is when you're not diagnosed. And even when you are diagnosed, it's a waiting game, but I feel like you wait longer when you're not diagnosed. So, yeah. Just have to wait, and I'll update you all when I know more about it. Um, if I'm not too shy, and don't forget, I will like try to record me trying out the scooter. Like, I'll have my mom record it, maybe. And, yeah, I don't know what video I would put that in, but, yeah. So, um, I'm excited that they didn't dismiss me, but the lady was rude and did say some very hurtful things. Um, not that I wasn't expecting them to say them. But I didn't think she would say them as she thought them. Like, I thought she would say them as, this is how insurance works, it sucks, but this is a fact. That when you come in walking in a room, asking for a wheelchair, let alone an electric wheelchair, it's going to be very, very hard, let alone impossible, for me to figure out how to get insurance to cover that. But she said it as in, it's hard for me to even understand why you need one. And that made me mad. And I don't know, I didn't keep, like, I didn't control my tone very well. And I snapped at her, which I fucking regret. So, I don't know. Like, I used to, like, not say anything at all, and now I have the problem with, like, keeping my mouth shut. Because, like, there's some times when you should, like, say something, and then there's times you shouldn't. You know? And so... Um... A little bummed that I have to wait. It'll probably be several, several months. Maybe even a year before anything gets done in this, with this wheelchair. So, wheelchair or mobility scooter, whatever it is. So, um, before I go, I think I'm going to talk about the cons of the mobility scooter. Um, first of all, when people think about wheelchair accessibility, there's already a bit problem with it. Because people don't know what accessibility actually means. Especially if they've never been in a wheelchair. And I highly doubt anybody has thought of mobility scooter accessibility. You know, there's a big thing in the front that's not there with other wheelchairs. And so it's going to take up more room and the rating, radi turning, sorry, turning radius is pretty bad. Um, it won't fit in my house. Um, and I need something to keep me safe in the house, you know. My walker helps a little bit, but... <laughs> not very much when I'm really really dizzy so what else oh um it breaks apart into five pieces and five pieces each piece weighs roughly like 33 pounds maybe 20 pounds depending on what it is and um so I would have to like lift five things to the ground and then five things back into the car every time I went somewhere and that just seems like a good way to pass out, I think. Going up and down, up and down. Like, um... Or if... Anything, just falling on my butt. And, I don't know, try doing that in the rain. <laughs> that seems... Way too hard. And I guarantee you there's gonna be a day that it's gonna rain on an appointment that's very important that I can't cancel. And I'm pretty sure my mother would be the one putting it together, and that seems... My mom does a lot for me, and I don't want her to stand out in the rain and be all wet and shitty 
during my appointment. That, like, seems awful. So, I really hope that we can get a diagnosis sooner than later so that I can start getting my wheelchair made. But, yeah. So, I'll see you on my next video. Bye!